All right, uh, Professor Deskins here, and I'm going to be uh, showing you a little trick with Excel called Goal Seek. Um, it's a function, or I guess, uh, ability of Excel to solve equations. And I'm assuming that you can uh, enter in formulas into Excel, and you know how to manipulate, uh, you know, numbers and boxes, and you can reference cells. D5 is this cell right here, and E5. I'm un I'm assuming you understand all this. And uh, if you don't, I would encourage you to Google um, Google this. You know, Excel tutorial. There's probably some. YouTube videos you could watch. Um, I'm not going to go over any of that, those sort of details. Um, but this uh, screencast uh, is just really about um, solving nonlinear equations. Um, so let me let me go over some equations here. So this first equation here is, is pretty straightforward, and it's it's basically just an algebra equation. You probably learned this many many years ago, and I don't have any uh, fear that, that you can't solve this. Pretty simple. Or here, here's a, another set of equations, 5 plus x plus y equals 7, x plus 2 times y equals 13. Again, these are just algebra equations. You can do some algebraic manipulation on these uh, to solve these, you know, move things left and right and multiply as, as necessary. We get to more complicated equations, um, like here, 5 plus x plus 2 divided by x plus cosine of x. So. Or it's 5 equals x plus 2 divided by x plus cosine of x. And we're asked to solve for x. So this is a pretty uh, complicated equation. Uh, there's no straightforward way to solve this, at least not that I know of. And uh, so it's not something that we can just sit down and you know spit out the answer like we could with some of these top problems up here. Another example is, is this one right here, x squared plus y squared equals 23. And then we have another equation, x plus y equals 7. And we're asked to solve for x and y. So these latter two equations um, are known as nonlinear equations, whereas these top two, or these top two problems, are known as linear. So we have linear, nonlinear. Linear are pretty straightforward to solve. These are things that you've been taught to solve in, in some of your classes in algebra, basically, probably in high school or junior high. Um, we're interested in these nonlinear problems, where uh, solving for an unknown variable is not so straightforward. We may have to, one, one method is just to guess. So we just keep guessing a value for x in this equation until we get the right value that solves this expression. Uh, there are formulas that you, you may pick up in some of your calculus classes or other math classes, numerical methods. And uh, I'm not going to really go over those. You can Google that or review your textbooks. But I'm going to show you how to use Excel to solve problems like this, where we have these nonlinear equations. So let me just open a new sheet here. Um, and so we're going to try to solve an equation. Let me just write it out here. 5, uh, let's see, 5 equals x plus 2 divided by x. That's what we're going to solve here. Let me just change the properties of this. This little bigger so you can see so you know what's going on. I can add text boxes to Excel if you didn't know that, and I just did that. So that's what we're solving for this equation. What is x? Well, we're going to use our goal seek. Um, so, easiest way to do this is to set up an equation like this f of x equals x plus 2 of x. So, that's just the right hand side here. That's our f of x. And when we have the correct value of x, f of x will equal 5. And so we just need to find when f of x is equal to 5. So I'm going to go ahead and create um, what I call guess x. And I'm going to put my value right here. And I just, you can go ahead and color cells, different colors. And I'm just going to put this yellow so I, it's a little clear to me. This one right here is f of x. Um, I'm going to put this one. Let's say this is orange. So guess of x, I'm going to say 1. So I'm going to say my first value of the guessed value is 1. I'm going to center these there, make it a nice little, little prettier. So I'm going to guess x. Uh, my first x value is 1, and then I need to find out the f of x so that it equals 5. Well, let me just enter this formula here. It's equal to b9 plus 2 divided by b9. So that is our formula. Uh, it's equal to x plus 2 divided by x. And x, we've defined it as in this b9. So I can just sit here and change this. Uh, 
all day long. I can go one, two, uh, one and two give the same value, three, four, uh, we're getting closer, seven. So I can just keep here all day long, keep changing these back and forth until f of x equals five, and then I know I have the right x value. Or I can use goal seek. Um, so we go up here to data, if we have all these tabs up at the top, data, what if analysis, and over here, what in FSL says goal seek, and I have myself a little box that pops up. And what I have to do is I have to choose what value, what cell I'm going to try to set. Uh, goal seek, the idea is you are seeking after a goal. Well, the goal is that one value in a certain cell will be set to a certain value. So in this case, I'm going to set this cell, which is f of x, which is c9 in this little spreadsheet, I'm going to set that equal to 5. That's the goal we're trying to seek. Well, how is it going to do that? It's going to change, click that there, it's going to change cell B9. So what the Excel program is going to do is it's simply just going to keep changing B9 until C9 is equal to 5. Or in other words, it's going to keep changing our guess value for X until F of X is equal to 5. So if I go ahead and click OK, and boom, less than a second, it has an answer, and it says it found a solution target value of 5 and it found that the value right now is 5.000037 which for all intents and purposes is close enough to 5 for for our purposes here and you can change the tolerances and make this you know different advanced features if you want this to be 10 zeros after the 5 you can change that but you know this is good enough for us and so what's the value well x is equal to 4.561594 uh, when f of x is equal to 5 or y is equal to 5 um, or I should say f of x is equal to 5 so that that's the solution for this problem up here and you know if you're not aware I can change different things on this if I right click this I can pull up format cells and um, I can go over here to number uh, there's different types of but the cell I can change the number of decimal points I can make it larger See, I just did that, and it gave me more decimal points. And you can play around with it if you want. Um, we're not going to do much more than that uh, for this problem. But let me just give you another problem. Um, this one is a little more complicated. Let me just type out this formula. Make this big so you can read it. I'm just going to make this solid background so it's easier. Oops. Wrong colors. Got to pay attention. Yeah, so we have this nice box there. So now we want to solve this problem. So it's a big, long polynomial. So 5 equals 0 0.4 times x to the fourth plus 0 0.3 times x to the third plus 0 0.2 times x squared minus x. What is x? And this again is just a simple goal seek problem. And I'm going to say guess x. If I can type this right. And then f of x. In this case, f of x is this, this stuff to the right here. And you know, just for clarity, I'm going to make these different colors. I'm going to guess 1 for my guess value. f of x is equal to 0 0.4 times b19 plus the, oh, I've got to the fourth power plus 0 0.3 times b19 to the third power plus 0 0.2 times b19 squared and gotta make sure we type our formulas right minus x uh, and I have an error here that's great um, 0 0.4 times b19 4 0 0.3 ah minus b19. Yep, if your formula is not right, you're not going to get the right problem. Got to check those formulas. Um, Alright, so there we have it. And we're trying to solve for f of x equal to 5 again by changing our x value. So again, click up here, data, what if analysis, goal seek, set that value to 5, c19, which is our f of x value, to 5 by changing this value. So this is our new guess. And if I click OK, poof, less than a second it found an answer um, and there we have it it says that f of x is equal to 5 when x equals 1.8167
Now, let me just say one other th uh, thing about this. Sometimes there are multiple solutions to a problem. In this case, we have multiple solutions to this polynomial right here. And which solution we get will depend on our guessed x value. So if I guess a different x value, let me just say guess negative 5. So I'm just going to guess negative 5. And so what's gonna, what the goal seek does is it takes this value and tries to f start from there and get to a solution. So now if I go to goal seek and I say, let's change the f of x equal to 5 by changing my guess block from guess cell. And it found a different solution. This time, negative 1.812. Previously, it was around 1.81. Well, now it's negative 8, 1.81. Um, so the solution you get very much depends on where you start. So you have to keep that in mind when you're working with goal seek. So if, uh, sometimes it's useful to try multiple initial guesses uh, as you're using the goal seek to try to get the solution. Um, so that's pretty much all I have to say here today on goal seek. If you have a problem you're working on and you have it's you know very nonlinear you can use Excel's goal seek to do this uh, to solve these nonlinear uh, problem uh, nonlinear equations like the ones I, I just show you right here so thank you have a good day